Welcome to another Sports Overtime. Tonight we have playoff hockey, a coaching milestone within reach at Blair Taylor, and the Blue Golds are back in action. But we begin with a City Hoop Showdown North and Memorial at the Doghouse to end the regular season. Can it get any better? Huskies won the first meeting of the season in overtime. North starts out great again tonight. Rihanna Hutchinson from the corner splashes it home. Timeout Memorial. It's 7-0 Huskies. More North. Taya Christ Christopher for three here. Huskies by 10. Memorial needs a bucket to get going. Bella Tangley, the sophomore, steps up big time. Huge three. Memorial gets it going. Close game, second half, but North able to pull it out. That's Hutchinson for two more. North wins at 57-53. These teams could meet again in the playoffs if Memorial beats Holman early next week. The only thing better than one playoff hockey game is two in the same building. Both Chippewa Falls teams skating on home ice with their seasons on the line tonight. Rebecca Fiala was rinkside for both. And Rebecca, the boys team hoping to kind of hit the reset button here. Nick, Chai High has lost four straight entering the playoffs, but they were close losses and to some quality teams. Cards battling Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln tonight, and it was all Chai High to start this one. Just 30 seconds in, Brady Fixmer slides one in the corner. Nothing better than laying the lamp early. It's one nothing cards, and they keep that pressure coming. Isaac Fournette one on one, just like that. It's two nothing. Chippewa Falls. And late in the first, Fixmer slaps in his second goal of the period. Cards up three after one. They keep the goals coming in the second. Just a few minutes in, Fixmer gets the hat trick. Chai High leads it 5 nothing after two. And he wasn't the only one hot tonight. In the third, Frenette's shot seals his hat trick. And Frenette now the Cards all-time leading scorer. Big shutout win in Chippewa tonight. 8 nothing. the final. It actually starts in the locker room with high school sports. Uh, they were focused, they're ready to go. I think it means a lot because, uh, you know, we had a rough go of it at the end of the uh, regular season, and now we're, we're, we got our goalie back, Bridger, and uh, new attitude, and we're ready to move forward and take the next challenge on. So the Cards will host Stevens Point next Tuesday. The girls also in action, CFM Hockey hosting Hayward. These teams just played to overtime on Monday. It's the Sabres who strike first. Paige Steinmetz gets it out in front, lays it in the corner. 1-0 CFM, now same score in the second. Not for long, Sabres' Amelia Berg lights the lamp. It's a two-goal lead. CFM would get one more before the period ends. Joey Schemenauer puts it past the keeper. Sabres get the win tonight, 4-0. All right, thank you, Rebecca. Back to boys hockey, Ram hockey, rolling into the Panther Den to take on West Salem. First period, K Cade Struck launches the shot, deflected in by Evan Gustafson. Ram lights the lamp, it's 1-0. Moments later, Gustafson behind the net, centering pass to Brendan Brisna, who's waiting, and he scores. He actually scored twice tonight. Big win for Ram on the road, 5-4, and Ram will face Baldwin-Woodville next week, the top seed after it beats Viroqua 10 to nothing. Menominee needs overtime to beat Black River Falls. Mustangs win 6-5. They will now play Somerset, which beat River Falls on Thursday. This shortened basketball season has been filled with milestones for the Storley brothers. They now have more than 1,000 combined wins. Rick reached 400 wins earlier in the season. Tonight, Randy goes for 600 with Blair Taylor. 32 years with the Wildcats. BT hosting Alma Pepin. First possession of the night, Alec Reisman to Kyle Steen for the bucket down low. Wildcats dominating the paint all night long. Reisman again gets it to Matthew Waldera for the floater. Coach Storley pleased with the effort. You know he had to be thinking about the milestone all night. Oma Pepin fighting hard. Colton Brecka with a tough J from the foul line. But the Wildcats running away with it. Alec Reisman with the steal. Going to hit the off-balance jumper. Blair Taylor wins 71-37. How about it? 600 for Coach Storley. It's quite an accomplishment to get the 600 wins. It means that you've coached a long time. And I've been very lucky to have such great players and uh, great teams and great fan support. And I just feel very blessed that I get to join a quite an elite group of other coaches of 600 wins. To be the eighth coach ever in history to get that is quite an accomplishment, something I never thought I'd work for, but it's here and it's done and uh, I'm happy as can be. 
and coach tells me that his brother was there tonight to see it in person. The Western Cloverbelt race has tightened this week. Osseo Fairchild girls with two losses now. The Thunder tied with Fall Creek in the loss column as these teams play tonight. Thunder owning the paint early. Brooke McCune with the left-handed layup. Crowd appreciates it. Fall Creek battling back. Long two from the left wing by Katie Kent. But it's 15-7 Osseo Fairchild at this point. Back and forth game. Fall Creek's Gianna Volrath connecting with Emily Madden. Beautiful backdoor cut. Fall Creek hanging around there within six, but the Thunder going back inside. They can play inside and out. Brooke McCune to Lacey Frost. 15 foot jumper is good. Osseo Fairchild back on track with a 43-37 win. 